Guys, the sun is setting, night is coming, it's getting all kinds of spooky, and we are going on a spooky little adventure to catch and understand the importance of bats in our ecosystem. Bats have a terrible reputation, they carry disease, they're blood sucking, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working with a, a bunch of bat researchers to understand and really appreciate how important these bats are for our ecosystem. So come on an adventure of a lifetime with me to come and catch bats, carefully understand them, ID them and release them back freely. It's gonna be an incredible evening full of adventure. Guys, so here we are, late evening, sun setting, and the bats are coming out. Bats come out at night and they use echolocation to locate their prey. And here, we're using a mist net. Now have a look at that. This net is a very fine net and uh, the bats with their echolocation actually can't detect it. So this is why it's a really effective way of catching um, without hurting these bats. Bats come out at night and I'll tell you why. That's when they start feeding. Insects start coming out at night. And so bats are nocturnal and um, hopefully they're not gonna detect this net and we're gonna be able to catch them. So let's see what we're gonna find. You're going up, yeah? Guys, to give you an idea of how invisible this net is, have a look. I'm going to put my torch on. And now look at this net here. You can just see how this net just completely blends in. I mean, it's so difficult to see if you don't have a light on it. So let's turn the light off and let's wait for the bats to come in. I'm just putting on a pair of gloves and that's just for the safety of the bat, the safety of me. Tell you what, bats do have some serious teeth, so that also helps, stops them from biting you. The other thing I've got to do is I'm going to have to put on a mask. And the reason for that is just for d d disease transference. I don't want to give the bat anything, and I don't want to receive anything from the bat. So we're going to be wearing masks for this. Right, we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Guys, we've got our first bat. Let's go and have a look at what we've caught. We're going to untangle them out of the net. And uh, we want to do that really carefully, really delicately. But have a look. We've got our first bat here. And you can see how they've been caught in the net. So what I'm going to do is just really, really carefully and gently. And you want to start with the bat first. So have a look at this. This bat is in the net. And you've got to be so careful with these bats. And they can really get tangled in. So you just gently, slowly but surely, you start from the back. And start untangling this bat out of you, you know, they're, their feet, they're constantly moving their feet, they're constantly moving their wings, so they can really tangle themselves. There we go. Right guys, we've got them out and now we're going to pop them in a bag. Here we are with the team of researchers and um, I've got a bat in my bag and we're going to start off by weighing the bat in the bag so we know the weight of the bag. And now we're going to weigh the bag, and that's going to give us an idea of the weight of the bat. Yeah, he's quite heavy. He's 40, 45. He's exactly 45 grams. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got the bat out the bag. And just whilst I'm doing that, just look at the teeth on that bat. So he's an insect hunting bat. So this guy will hunt little insects, he'll hunt beetles. And you can just see how efficient they are with those teeth. We're going to get a measurement of the forearm and have a look at the forearm here. It's going to be this measurement here. So let's. Right, so what is that? 50, 54.3. So that's the, that is the length of the forearm of this bat, 54.3. Guys, so here we are aging a bat. So just to go through the structure of the wing of a bat, it's exactly like your hand. So there's the thumb. Have a look at that thumb there. And then there's the first finger, the second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger. And how we're going to age it is on the fingers, on these joints, on the knuckles. These are the knuckles here, those little joints. And if those have completely ossified, that tells us this is a mature bat. And looking at that, those are completely ossified. So we have a mature bat right here. Is that not just incredible? Guys, so we've done all the measurements on this yellow belly house bat. And now we're going to release her. So let's get in the right direction. And off you go. Off you go. See when it's cold, eh? There she goes. And that was, was that not incredible? That's my first bat. I've caught, handled, weighed, measured, and identified. 
and we've just let her go. That was such a special moment. Here we've got a new species, the tomb bat. So we're going to do exactly the same process. We're going to measure, we're going to weigh, we're going to sex, and then we're going to release. So let's get busy. But you can see he's a much bigger bat. Have a look at the tail on this bat. Is that not incredible? Something really interesting about these bats. So these guys echolocate out of their mouth. They send the noise out of their mouth, and then they receive it back through their ear. Now look at that ear designed to pick up the, the vibration coming off what they've detected. And that, and that tells them where to go, where to fly, obstacles and food. So is that not fascinating? Here's some really interesting facts about bats. So bats are like bees, they're pollinators. These guys pollinate trees and without them, certain trees wouldn't even exist. They, you know, they're pest control, they control insects like mozzies. A bat will actually eat its entire body weight in one night. And believe it or not, they can eat up to 2,000 mosquitoes a night. Is that not incredible? So these guys are so important for our ecosystem and we've really got to pay attention and try and respect and protect these species. So let's go and release this guy and he's got to get about his business because he's got a busy night ahead of feeding. There we go, there we go and off he goes, look at that. Guys, so we're about to take out a third species for this evening. So within literally half an hour, that's three different species we've caught and over six or seven bats. So yeah, a really, really productive evening of bat catching. But have, first of all, have a look at this. This is a new species. Now have a look at this nose. And look at those ears. I mean, is he not just an extraordinary looking bat? Look at the tail. Does that not look like a, like a rat? Look at that tail. So this is your Egyptian free tail bat. When you bring conservation and science together, with these researchers, you really get to understand and appreciate the species more. And these mammals are just fascinating. And this is where I believe there's such an important role for science in conservation. I just, I love learning with these guys and it's just really important to have these sort of people out in the field researching, understanding a species we don't know enough about. Guys, here's some really interesting facts about these bats. So bats are mammals, they're like us. They give birth to live young, they breastfeed so the babies drink milk. And believe it or not, a bat only gives birth to one baby and a baby is called a pup. Is that not incredible? Another fascinating thing, bat, bats are the only true flying mammals you get. So they've been fully adapted to flying, they have movable wings and they're the only true flying mammal you get. I mean, just fascinating. Guys, what a fun-filled, incredible evening it's been. We've caught three different species, we've caught over 10 bats, we've handled, we've measured, We've looked and we've understood and we've come, you know, we're really now appreciating the importance these bats play. You know, these guys are the pollinators. These guys control the insects. These guys just play a significant role in telling us how intact our ecosystem is. So they are serious contributors to a healthy, diverse environment that we live in. And I tell you what, this evening has been absolutely incredible and so much information to take in.